Hi guys, it's Kimberly Bell with the Real Estate Office bringing you a little happy Friday tidbit. I am hoping that I can give you some good information today that will allow you to um, understand a little bit about our about our um, I boxes and the difference between an I box and a combination lock box, and remind you that some homes might have some videoing going on inside. So the first part of my video I wanted to talk to you about is sometimes when you go to show a home, we want to take some precautions. Um, when Once we unlock the door, you know, you wanna make sure that you're giving your um, buyer the instructions by the, by the brief to know what is it that the seller has requested? Has the seller requested a mask? Has the seller requested that um, only two people per listing? Look at those and abide by what the seller's wishes are. You don't want children going into a house, running rampant, dropping or knocking over a crystal vase that grandma or great grandma gave this person um, when they were 18. It just, it just wouldn't be a good thing. So we wanna make sure that we're doing that. In addition, remember that um, you could be on video. So not that we care, we're not doing anything wrong, but you should always be acting on your best behavior as if you are being recorded. So you're going to say, you're, we're gonna always try to be kind, box things in to be nice, but be honest. Um, there's nothing wrong with being honest. If something looks broken, you can definitely say, hey, that door's broke. That There's nothing wrong with that, even if it is on video and, there, and that the seller is listening. So the second thing that I want to talk to you about today is um, combination lock boxes. I do a lot of listings that say, hey, we want combination lock boxes. So um, I do two things. Sometimes I'll put a combination lock box on the back and um, only give that out to vendors or people that need to be accessing through that combination. I change that lock box code every single week so that if they are accessing it and if they gave it out to somebody else, then no big deal because the combination isn't the same this week. So um, that is one thing that I do. Then, the, then, but you know, then on the front, then I go ahead and I put that super eye box so that I'm tracking when agents are going in and out and those agents should only be using that box. So um, why do I like using that box? I like, I like using that box for a couple of different reasons. So if we are over here, Let's see. You can go to a Supra, um, Supra Web right here like this. Click here to continue my session. Sorry, I missed it. So you can go to suprawab.supracam.com. This is where your iBox are inventoried. It tells you everything. You know, when you log on and you and you go ahead and you do a shackle on a, on a box and you put it on, it says, tell me the house number. Did you know that it syncs to our MLS? And that if you put in the house number, it'll tell you the house that it is on in here in Supra Web. Super, super cool. So you're able to know exactly which house it was. But then in addition to that, once you log in, it didn't log me out. Once you log in, it'll bring you to the home page. It looks like this. It's going to allow you to manage your iBoxes here. You can update codes, identify key holders, authorization codes, change pins, which I'm going to do some here in a minute for mine. So you could go into change pin. Let's see if it'll let me do it. You know, your current pin, give pin, um, give you secure access to your super eye boxes. This is what it would look like. Um, you can add key boxes if for some reason they sold them to you, but they didn't update from the board, you could add a box here to your stuff. Um, this would also brings you up under listings. Under listings, it has listings and then it has key boxes. Shows you what all your key boxes are. This is where you would go to get um, 
know your key box numbers, the shackle codes, and the CBS codes. CBS codes are used for people that are not authorized users from within from within our Flex MLS. They're not maybe an affiliate. So that, or if it's somebody from out of the area, say they're from Memphis and they have a key, they may need to have a CBS code to be able to use their key within our within our iBoxes. So this is just some good ideas to explain to you some different things. You can go in and do reports. And under reports, you can show a show a show who accessed the box, when they accessed the box, how long the box was open. I know that there is some people that what they do is that they immediately take the key out, they unlock the door, put the key right back in the box. Um, the only reason that I don't do that is because it doesn't show you how long the box was open or how long the house was open. It makes you think that they were they just opened it and closed it, and that is not the case. Sometimes they're there longer than that. Um, you know, if you can also change the settings here. And the settings right here in the middle of the page, they allow you to say, say that somebody only wants showings from 4 to 9 p.m., seven days a week. You can create those settings here. And, and that allows that the box will not open before 4 p.m. So if someone comes to their showing at 3.55, a little bit early, that box will not allow them to obtain that key until four o'clock. It keeps it locked. I think that's super cool, especially for our daytime sleepers, maybe a nurse that works at night or a doctor that works in the ER at night. This would be a great tool to utilize to make sure that people weren't just, oops, accidentally going in a little bit early on their showing. This gives them right up until that four o'clock, even if they have a scheduled showing at four o'clock, they need to be accessing that box at four o'clock. Well, this is your little weekend education tip. Um, I hope that this was beneficial. I hope you have a great weekend. And most of all, go out and be kind. Show people how kind you can be. And um, let's just go have a great real estate weekend. And above all, know that community matters. And so do you. Have a great weekend.